He is such a magnificent storyteller. And every summer he gives young people critical thinking abilities to tell their own stories. He captures their imaginations to serve them well no matter their path in life. And so the story of SUNY Oswego professor Francisco Suarez is one of my favorite stories of 2023. Spend just a few minutes in his filmmaking or storytelling class, it quickly becomes obvious the SUNY Oswego associate professor brings a wealth of talent, skill, knowledge, and passion to his students. I just love it. I, I, I say that, you know, you go through life trying to figure out what is the purpose of your life. Uh, at least that for me is important, and I found it. Uh, you know, yes, working for MTV or working in HBO was a, an amazing experience for me, no doubt about it. It brings me to where I am today, but no job has given me more satisfaction than what I do today at Tunis Vigo. Because I want all of you to experience the process. I think for me, this is not about being a professor just to teach you how to do white balance in a camera or how to light a subject. It's about can you reach the goal that you want to reach. Francisco has fond memories of his childhood in Venezuela and pictured his future at a very young age. I, I just think I was very lucky since I was a kid to know that I want to be involved in visual storytelling. I was fascinated. I grew up, of course, with uh, Star Wars. When Star Wars came out the first time, it was such a revolution that that movie for me changed the perspective of what I want to do with my life. And the force is strong with this one. It's a difficult job, for sure. Uh, you know, it's a lot of personalities, different uh, students, different personalities. But in general, I just love the interaction with the students to be able to help them to get those skills, but most importantly, to believe in themselves. And when he's not teaching, you can catch Professor Suarez hosting his award-winning podcast from Suarez Basement, a project now in its sixth season, which he started during the pandemic.